Welcome to Rambling On RV. I'm Donna. This week, I thought we'd do a little something I'd like to call Donuts with Donna. Okay. Hey, you could be larger than life. Okay, so today we're gonna to show you a really cool hack for you to mount your uh, WeBoost. We have we use the WeBoost for our cell service. It boosts our cell phones, and we use our cell phones or our iPad as a hotspot. So it's great for streaming. We love to stream video. We watch a lot of YouTube, as you can imagine. We also watch a lot of uh, Netflix and Amazon Prime. So it's a very inexpensive alternative for you to mount your WeBoost antenna or anything that you need to raise, except do not try to put flagpoles on your PVC pipe because we had a really bad experience and I'll talk to you about that someday when I want to feel low self-esteem. So here's the thing. We took some PVC pipe, and by the way, we got this hack from somebody else and they got it probably from somebody else. We took some one inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe and we have two little sections so we have two sections one long section one short section so that it would fit in the bed of the truck without any hassles that's the only reason we did that but we put a coupler right here on the end and this section goes into the coupler and it goes in right here like this and that's it we just sort of wedge it in there it does you don't need to clearly you don't want to glue it and then on this end we used a drain flange and this drain flange setup that we have here will allow, it will, it will cradle the antenna for us. So uh, that's kind of the setup. It's very simple and very inexpensive. Come with me and I'll show you how we mount it on the camper. Okay, so we're at the back of the camper. This is the outside WeBoost antenna that will actually go on this apparatus that I just showed you that we created. And the way we do it is, um, we're all put together here. So what we'll do is we'll run our coaxial down this pipe. Okay, so I just hold tight on my coaxial down here to keep that placed in the cradle. It really won't fall out. It really doesn't want to fall out. And then I come over here and at an RV show, Donna and I purchased these uh, flagpole holders that clamp on to your ladder. They're, they're not inexpensive, but they're worth it. Um, so what we do with this is we run it through the flagpole holder right here. String this on up. So then it just sits right down into the holder. The antenna is firmly placed up top. It's not going to go anywhere. I know it feels like it could, but then we take this cable and we come over to this window and we go inside the window and Donna is usually on the other side and she'll grab it and pull it on in and she'll hook it up to the inside receiver box for the WeBoost. And then it, that connects to the inside antenna and we're good to go. Bye. So Carl has pulled this cord in through our window right here. Um, sometimes we could take it through the slide out, but um, this window lends itself really well to put this cable in here. So I store everything in this tub in the camper. And this is where I keep everything else that goes inside. This is the unit that everything plugs into. So this, I've set up to go on the wall right here. We've got two command strips right here and they're the Velcro ones. And so all I have to do is stick this to the wall and then the indoor antenna, cause there's an outdoor antenna and an indoor antenna. This one remains next to the laptop. We usually set the laptop up here or if you have a cell phone and you're using it as your hotspot, you just want to place the indoor antenna as close to that as possible. And then I put this little shelf here. I put all my cords and everything in there and try to keep it 
uh, you know, just as neat as we possibly can. We are standing right on the edge of Red Rock, just outside of the Las Vegas city area here. And we thought we'd pull over and just give you a quick little message. We want to thank all of our subscribers. Right now we have, are you ready? 23 subscribers. <laughs> and here's what we want to tell you is we value each and every one of you. And this is not about subscribers as much as about Donna and I exploring kind of a new journey, right? So we're glad you're you're on this journey with us. We hope more people join us, but you know what? If they don't, they don't, they'll lose out because we've got a lot of fun stuff planned in the coming days, months, and who knows, years. So we just wanted to say a quick thank you. If you guys are ever in the Las Vegas area, Red Rock is a beautiful area to come to. Um, it's probably what, 30 minutes outside of the main area of Las Vegas. Yeah. You just head west on Charleston, and uh, there is a pay viewing area that you can go through. Um, it's, I don't know if it's a national park. It's the loop. So it's the Red a... Rock Loop or Red Rock Canyon is what you want to look for. And um, today it's January. It's a beautiful 68 degrees on a Saturday. So it is crazy crowded up here. We thought we'd, you know, get out of the main area a little bit but there's still a lot of cars going by and stuff but I just I did want to say that you know Carl and I aren't hikers um, I mean even it's not just because we're old but even when we were younger like we weren't the type of people that went hiking um, like one of the things that we liked to do most when we were younger was we would go we went to Dairy Queen <laughs> we oh. went up to the mountains <laughs> like we would we would drive up to Mount Charleston and we would get in the middle of the pine trees and the elevation was And, and we'd high. sit in our car and look at everything. No. Okay. We would lay out sleeping bags <laughs> and take a nap. Like it was like there was nothing better to me than laying in the beautiful, fresh, clean, breezy air. Well, and think about it. We were getting out of 120 degree heat usually, going, oh, yeah. going on roughly a 45 minute drive up to an elevation of about 4,500 feet. The, yeah. the air was crisp and fresh and the temperature in the daytime was what about 75 yeah tops yeah. i mean it's one of the things we love most about living out here i mean the palm trees and the mountains and all that stuff is beautiful but for us i mean you're 30 minutes to water skiing and lake mead and all that stuff and you're another 30 minutes the other direction to snow skiing in the mountains and it's a 24-hour town so for us las vegas has always been just there's always something to do and we're not we don't even like to play tourists like like we don't like to go down i mean unless there's people in town we never go downtown no we watch tv <laughs> but it's just even like i said when we were younger hiking wasn't really our thing but if you guys are hikers or nature lovers this is a beautiful area it's very popular if you go a little bit further past uh red rock you're going to run into bonnie springs ranch and in the summertime, they have a summer theater out there, 
with a wonderful outdoor, uh, local amphitheater, amphitheater. Commu community theater yeah, based, and really but the productions great. are just high quality. Yeah. And uh, gotta tell you, it's just uh, we're just having a blast doing doing this this channel thing. It's it's kind of a new little a new adventure for us. And and like I said, I think. I think we don't take you for granted. We're glad you're along for ride for the ride with us, and uh, hopefully we're showing you some stuff, some good information. And in the future, we're going to be on the road doing a few things as yeah. well. So we hope our content gets more and more as we get to go out and camp more and do more things. Because right now we work, and so you know we go camping. We try to get out once a month, uh, but we also recognize Las Vegas. You guys don't live here. And so there's things that we know about Vegas that you probably don't. So we'll try to squeeze some of that in for you as well. Um, hopefully you guys learned some stuff from us. So, so do us a favor, uh, tell your friends to subscribe, like, and share our videos. We'll keep making them and we'll see you soon on our next episode. Thank you for joining us. little bell to get notified when the next video comes up and just get out there it's right before your eyes step by step you're on your way welcome to a brighter day don't you know it feels good to be alive you could be larger than life